The curve you always see between the tines and the handle of the fork is not just for aesthetics. This arch has a precise angle that allows the wrist to remain in a natural position, letting the tines enter the food almost vertically without requiring the hand to bend excessively. When we hold the fork and bend our wrist to pierce the food, the handle's longitudinal axis forms an angle of approximately 23 degrees with the horizontal surface. The fork's curve helps the tines enter the food naturally and vertically despite this angle, eliminating the need for excessive wrist bending. If the tines are fewer than four, more pressure is applied to each tine, increasing the chance of bending. Four tines create the best balance between penetration, food retention, and mechanical strength. But the most interesting point is the thickness of the tines. From a mechanical engineering perspective, if the tine thickness exceeds about 4 millimeters, it acts like a wedge when entering the food, instead of cutting, which causes the food structure to crumble. If the thickness is less than about 2.5 millimeters, they will bend under normal finger pressures, around 30 to 45 newtons, or buckle under the lateral forces applied when cutting and lifting food. These engineering findings form one of the foundations of modern fork manufacturing standards. Enjoyed it? Tap the link down below to watch the full video on the Icarus channel.